Pardon the interruption, but my name is Brandon Vasquez. And I'm Rick Vasquez. All right, Rick, so for our first talk, we will be discussing the Super Bowl that happened last week. Mm -hmm. So our Super Bowl MVP was Patrick Mahomes, who had 286 yards and two touchdowns. Now, what do you think about the MVP choice? Um, me, personally, I didn't agree with it. He also threw two interceptions in that one game, which was, frankly, qu quite surprising because he, he didn't throw a single interception in the entirety of the uh, postseason. So uh, it was kind of surprising to me to see that he got the MVP vote. And um, I actually thought it should have been Damian Williams, the running back. He uh, had 104 yards, and he actually had a touchdown as well. So, yeah. Now, I would say that those two interceptions aren't so much of an indictment to Patrick Mahomes' performance as much as it, as it is a testament to how well the 49ers' defense has been all year. I mean, they had the third best defense in the NFL. They only, they only allowed 21.4 points per game. And what, the, what the, the Chiefs had, what, 31 points in the whole game? Yeah. I mean, I, I think it was still an outstanding performance on Mahomes, and I think he was very deserving of that MVP. Yeah, I definitely think the uh, defense of the 49ers caused some problems for Mahomes. Uh, Nick Bosa, in particular, yes. was amazing defensively. I still think that Mahomes should have done a little more. He definitely shouldn't have had two interceptions. I could allow one uh, based off how good the defense was for the 49ers, but two is just unacceptable for me. Well, so our next topic is going into the offseason in the NFL. So the NFL Players Association is discussing maybe expanding the regular season to 17 games. How do you feel about that? I think it's a, it's a generally a good idea. Yeah, um, 17 games for me because I am an NFL fanatic, as you know. I think it would be fun to see more NFL games happen. I can see why some people wouldn't like that, um, player safety and all that, but 17 games would be fun for me. Yeah. Well, I understand I'm a huge NFL fan as well, but morally, I just think it's incorrect to have... I mean, you see all the owners arguing about, worrying about the player's health. Meanwhile, they want to add another game. I just think it's very contradictory yeah. because, you know, why are you adding another game? It's just for revenue purposes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I just think 17 games... So the, the purpose of it is to, is to shorten the preseason. Mm -hmm. But what good is that going to do if you're going to end up having the same amount of games? You're definitely quick? right, yeah. So I don't think that's the right way to go. I think it should stay 16 games. If anything, it should be maybe shorter than that, personally, because they're putting their, their health at risk every single week, and I just don't, I don't know about that. You're right. But um, like you said, it's, it was a revenue move, and everyone knows it's a blatant money grab, but uh, still, um, that's what this sport is about. At the end of the day, it's about keeping the fans entertained and keeping us entertained as well. That's why we're here doing sure. this talk show. Yep. All right, and moving on to basketball. So, us, we're South Florida fans, so we're rooting for the Heat here. The Heat just made a very big move in the trade deadline. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I believe it was a big move to make them strong contenders in the East. Uh, they just traded Justice Winslow, Deion Waiters, and James Johnson for Andre Iguodala, Jay Crowder, and Solomon Hill from the Memphis Grizzlies. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think this trade makes the Heat strong contenders in the East? I actually don't see the Heat getting out of the Eastern Conference, especially when it's heavily packed with um, teams like Milwaukee and Boston. It's just going to be very tough. I know there's some people who think that this trade is a, like a deal breaker or whatever, but I just don't see that happening. Well, personally, I'm one of those people who think that this is a deal breaking trade. I mean, acquiring Andre Iguodala, you're getting championship pedigree, you're getting veteran leadership. You saw that in his time with the Warriors, that he is a player who can lock down people defend defensively. He can shoot threes in the clutch. I think this just brings them over the edge and they can compete against teams like Milwaukee, in my opinion. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out of the East. But anyways, that's all we got. My name is Brandon Vasquez. And I'm Rick Vasquez.